Hello, I'm Tony from Bonner's Music, and this is my presentation of the brand new Yamaha CP88 and CP73 stage pianos. You'll be able to see these pianos as soon as they're released in February 2019 in both of our showrooms. We have one in Eastbourne in East Sussex, and the other one is in Rygate in Surrey, just off of Junction 8 of the M25 motorway. If you're thinking of buying a new stage piano, then Bonners really is one of the best places in the UK that you can come to because you can try lots of different keyboards from different manufacturers all under one roof. And you can get advice from people like myself who actually use these instruments on stage and in context. So you know that you're making a good decision when you're buying your next keyboard. So let's get started with the presentation. There are two models in the range. There's a CP73, which has 73 plastic keys, and there's the CP88, which has 88 wooden keys. The CP73 has the same key weighting across the whole range, whereas the CP88 is a graded action. That means it's slightly heavier at the bottom and slightly lighter at the top, which is similar to an acoustic grand piano. So let's start by taking a look at the control panel layouts. First of all, it's very similar to that that we've seen from other manufacturers in recent times in that you have different sound sections which you can switch on and off independently. Now the CP series has three different sound sections. You have an acoustic piano section, an electric piano section, and a subsection, which is your sample synth section which has sounds like strings and brass and organ all hidden in there. Now each one of the sections has uh, some controls which are similar in each of the, the different parts. So let's just take a look here. Every section has your sound select knob and this little rocker switch which enables you to go through the different variations of each sound. You have your split control. You can assign any part to the left or the right hand and you have octave shift buttons. You also have a volume control and a tone control. So each section has those similar buttons, they share those similar controls, but then each section also has its own dedicated effects unit as well. So if we look at the acoustic piano section, the effects unit here, we have compression, distortion, uh, overdrive and chorus. Um, there's also da a damper resonance button so you can turn on and off the damper resonance which you may want for recording but maybe you wouldn't want that when you're playing with a live band on stage. So let's just take a listen to the first piano sound which is the sound of the Yamaha CFX Grand and this really is a wonderful sound. So there are different variations on the acoustic grand sound which you select using this little yellow rocker switch and as well as that really good Yamaha CFX sound which is nice and bright and bold and certainly cuts through when you're playing live there is also a more classical orientated sound which is the sound of the Bosendorfer Imperial so it's a slightly mellower piano sound. So as well as acoustic grand sounds, we've also got acoustic upright pianos as well, and this is the sound of the Yamaha U1. So I quite like that sound because it's slightly detuned, um, certainly in the lower registers, but it's a, a really great sound for, for blues. 
So within the piano section, we also have the sound of the original Yamaha CP80. And there are also some preset piano layers. So if we turn the knob around to the layered piano, then you get things like piano and strings, which are already been layered for you. So. And there are a few different variations, piano and strings, piano and synth. So I'm gonna turn off the piano section, switch on the electric piano section now. And this is the section which gives me your classic kind of Fender Rhodes, your Wurlitzer sounds. Um, there's a really nice uh, Yamaha DX7 type ballad electric piano and some clav sounds. So let's just take a listen to the, the Rhodes sound first of all. So a very authentic Fender Rhodes sound, but it's on the electric piano section where the effects really come into their own. So I can first of all switch on some drive. So I actually, I've actually got a Fender Rhodes myself, which I use at home and in the studio. And I play it through a Roland Jazz Chorus amp and I like to put a little bit of distortion on it. It gives you a little bit of bite with the sound. So if we just switch on the drive and then turn this control up. that little bit of extra bite on the sound which is and then we have some other effects as well so we've got things like tremolo the controls here to alter the speed and the depth of the tremolo. And we have chorus as well, which is very easy just to switch these effects on and off as you want. So if you're playing live, it's great for it to have all this hands-on control, which we've never seen from a Yamaha instrument before. Yamaha have always been very much got to get inside the menus to, to make alterations to things. So if you look, if you remember the previous range, the Yamaha CP4, CP5, CP40, um, there were not anywhere near as many hands-on controls as this. So um, in fact, this keyboard was actually supplied to me with no owner's manuals at all. I haven't gone online and downloaded anything. Everything you're seeing is from me uh, exploring the instrument in this short period of time I've had with it. And it, it's very, very easy to use. So within the electric piano section, as I've said, there are Wurlitzer sounds. What I wanted to do, I'm gonna play every sound. I just wanted to play through some of the, the sounds that stand out to me. The, the clav voices on this keyboard are, are excellent. So. Um, now I'm gonna, again, add a little bit of overdrive to that sound. But this is where the effects are excellent. So I'm going to use, um, uh, I've got a, a, an expression pedal plugged in. This is the Yamaha FC7. I'm gonna set the effects to pedal wah and then. And again, you can alter the, alter the depth of the wah. And like I said, there's a really fabulous Yamaha DX7 electric piano sound. So if you're if you've got some tunes from the 80s you want to play, then this is wonderful. So um, I'm going to turn on the chorus as well. Let's just take the depth down a little bit and then. Mm -hmm. 
And then finally we have our subsection sound which contains things like strings and brass and organ sound. So I'm gonna turn off the piano section, switch on the subsection. And the first sound we get is a nice sort of pad sound which is great for layering with piano. So I've got the subsection switched on. I'm gonna turn the acoustic piano section back on, select a grand piano sound. And I've got independent control over the volume of both the piano and the pad sound in the backing. I could add some chorusing to that synth sound. And there's a good range of voices which work nicely as sounds which sit behind the piano sound. So if we choose the organ section for or the organ sound, for instance, I've got and there's a rotary simulator as well, which you can, you can either use the modulation stick over here, or you can use the knob here to change the speed of the, of the rotary speaker simulator. Now, that organ sound works particularly well when it's sitting behind a piano sound. So let's just turn the volume down slightly of the organ. Another new feature of these stage pianos is that they're updatable and expandable. And what that means is that Yamaha will be making new content available for you to download from their website, which will give you new features and new sounds. Now, unlike other keyboards, which have these different sound sections, a very important feature of the CP88 and CP73 is that you can actually assign any sound to any section. So although we have the piano section here, you can go into the menu, switch on what is called advanced mode, and then any of the sounds from the synth section or the electric piano section, you can actually access in the piano section. So what that means is that you can actually perhaps uh, have, you could assign an acoustic piano section within the electric piano section, if you bear with me with this. Um, and that means you could layer two acoustic piano voices together if you wanted to. So you could maybe put one up an octave and one down an octave to give you that kind of Latin octave piano sound. Or you could layer two synth voices together to give you a big fat sound. So being able to assign any voice in any section is quite unique in this style of keyboard and is, is one of the first times I've seen that. I think the only other keyboard where I've seen that uh, feature on where you have different sections um, but you can assign any sound in any section will be the core grand stage. So um, that's a really good plus point from Yamaha there. Now we've looked at the individual voice sections on their own. We also have very powerful um, overall sort of global effects unit over here as well, where you've got your delays and reverbs and EQ. But what is also nice is that you can assign a different amount of um, echo or delay or reverb to different parts. Now other manufacturers just have their global effects just apply an effect to the whole output sound of the keyboard whereas on the CP88 and CP73 you can assign a different amount of each effect to the different parts. Now I just wanted to just show you the, the sound of the reverb because it really is beautiful on this keyboard. So um, let's make sure the reverb's switched off first of all. And let's just have a listen to, I'll just play a few notes just without reverb, so. And now I'm going to play the same few notes with a reverb switched on and just listen to the quality of this reverb. So very natural sounding decay. Now you probably wouldn't use that level of reverb when you're perhaps playing live, but certainly in the studio for being creative. I think that's a really, really nice reverb. Um, 
as I said before, we've got the equaliser here as well. So again, I find when I'm playing live with a band that I like to turn up the high EQ a little bit, maybe the mid down, certainly on acoustic piano sounds, so it made them cut through a bit more. So it'll give you a nice bright sound, certainly if you're doing a piano solo, then that really helps. So now let's just take a quick look at the user interface that we have on the left hand side here. This is where you can store your own sounds to start off with so you can layer different sounds together and then you can store that as a patch or what Yamaha call a live set. Now that you use the page plus and minus buttons to go through the various banks and then you have eight sounds in each bank so very very simple to use and you can store all your live sets onto a USB stick and then load them back in when you need to or if you're using different keyboards you can share your sounds around different keyboards. Um, the CP series now have a very powerful um, external MIDI zones as well so you can use this as a, as a really powerful uh, MIDI controller to control other sound modules or other keyboards you may have on the stage. There are four external zones which you can split a layer across the keyboard as you wish and each one of those zones can send out MIDI bank change and MIDI program change messages and you can do things such as disable the pitch bend or the sustain pedal from certain zones. So it's a very powerful MIDI control keyboard as well as having really good voices built in itself. So the CP series also have uh, an audio interface built in and what that means is that you can plug in your uh, laptop computer straight in via USB. It will record audio directly via USB into your computer and also it will send audio back from your laptop. So if you're using some soft synths or something like main stage and you're using that live, then the sound from your computer can come straight in to the CP series and then through the audio outputs into your PA system. So it means that you don't have to have a separate audio interface if you're using your computer when you're using the CP series. So let's just take a look at some of the inputs and outputs that are on the back panel of the CP series. So starting from the rear panel, we have your headphone output on the far right. Then you have jack outputs to go to your amplification. And in keeping with this being a really professional instrument, you have XLR outputs left and right as well. There are also quarter inch jack audio inputs and I really like that because it's a decent connection as opposed to the very small mini jack input that you often get on keyboards. There are two assignable foot controllers. Um, so that's where I have plugged in my expression pedal. You can actually plug in two uh, expression pedals if you want to, one to do volume, one to control the effects. And then you have two, uh, two foot switch sockets, one's for sustain and the second one is assignable to other functions. We have traditional five pin DIN MIDI in and out. And as we move across, we move to the uh, USB connections. We have the host connection, which is where you would plug in your laptop and the device connection, which is where you would plug in something like a memory stick so you can store your own patches directly onto a USB memory stick. So that brings me to the end of my fairly quick Yamaha CP88 and 73 demonstration video. It's the kind of product you really need to get your hands on because it's so intuitive having all these, all these controls to hand. And there's also quite a lot hidden in the menus if you want to go a bit more in depth, but it's a very, very playable instrument. And I would really urge you to come to one of our stores so you can actually try this for yourself. If you would like more information about stage pianos, then please do get in touch. You'll find our contact details in the description to this movie. And also we offer part exchange. So if you have an older keyboard uh, which perhaps you'd like to upgrade to one of the new Yamaha CP series, then again, please contact us because we can offer part exchange as well. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in another one of my keyboard demonstration movies.